This is Let's Talk Music, and I am here with Enchantia. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. It is. Okay, and we have Root. Is it Root? Yeah, Root. <laughs> and Pedro. Okay, yes. so singer and keyboardist, and also Pedro. What's your What's your other job, buddy? In the band, you mean? Yes. Uh, I'm I'm a keyboardist, and I do the the orchestrations and the the choir adaptations. So all the the classical stuff that you need to do for the more orchestral parts of the the music. So I'm an orchestrator, if you if you will. Okay. So, Sounds yeah. good. So the new song, it, it just really kind of grabbed me. I, I enjoyed the the beginning with the like operatic lyrics. Yeah, well, you know, the the kind of you know what I'm talking about. You guys made it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. then, you know, all of a sudden it gets into like the hard double beat and stuff, and then you just let out some growls. I mean, that's very unexpected. So <clears throat> tell me about your um your vocal background well actually i've been a self-taught singer for more than 20 years now uh, i actually only had like uh, electric guitar lessons um therefore i actually know uh the basis of music theory uh but uh, in what concerns to singing uh i've been self-taught I, i mean um, I do listen uh, to lots of music, lots of singers, and I've been teaching, I've been learning from them, also working with nice musicians. But actually, this kind of um, vocal swings, as you as well, um, I've been doing those for like more than 20 years. It started with my, my old female metal band, uh, Black Widows, and then I transposed this um, kind of vocal registration to also to Enchantia. Oh. where I can actually uh, do a lot more because I'm not playing guitar. I'm just the singer here. So, well, it's just something natural for me, actually. Now, the the growls, the unclean vocals, how, how does that fare with your vocal cords? Do you have to do any kind of, like, training? Do you have to do any warm-ups before, you know, recording yeah. or show? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, it's very important to warm up, um, and even your body, not just all your vocal um, part of your body. Uh, it's also very important, important because um, it's very demanding this kind of uh, vocalizations, as you say. Um, and um, what I've been noticing is that I'm getting, you know, older. Not like a old lady, but. I'm in my 40s and I really need to rest. I really need to have more pauses to rest, to sleep, to eat uh, better and um in order uh to get uh, to be to be in my um highest points or of performance. So now let's uh health wise like you probably don't smoke, you probably don't drink, right? No. I don't uh smoke. I it literally uh drink tea water with vitamins all this kind of stuff uh, yeah, I, yeah. I i i should be sleeping more working less uh because i'm also i have a, a very demanding um job i'm also a teacher for portuguese portuguese teacher oh. um which implies obviously using my my voice uh but i have to find a balance uh in order to you know do my best job also as a singer gotcha uh, pedro um what how, how did you meet with the band uh well uh i was i was actually uh invited i got a text from hood uh about uh seven years ago i think because the um, because we we are not the original lineup um right. Well, Ruth is the original, uh, the the founder of the band, but uh, the all all the other ones, the rest of us, we are not the original lineup. So, they had done uh, an album before, Dark Rising, and so then uh, the band kind of split up, and uh, she started searching for other musicians. And I don't know how she, I don't know how she got to me, uh, but uh, she sent me a text, and you know, I was like, okay, so. Uh, let's meet up and see what uh, what 
what what what you want to do and if 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 i'm okay with that then then we'll see okay so we we met up personally so we spoke about it she and then we we just started uh playing together and uh, that's how that's how it went now <clears throat> what what's your background as far as music how did you start out and how did you get into keyboards uh well I, about music i i always loved music since i was uh, very little so uh, my parents say that i i loved when they put you know any kind of music that, that i would that i would pay really a lot of attention to it and then um i started listening to uh when when i started getting to know uh symphonic metal at first because i i didn't know that style when i was uh, a child so it was something that i uh, i learned about during my like adolescent years i think and then i, I really started enjoying uh, many of those bands and especially the um, the melodic symphonic uh, parts of it mm -hmm. so i decided uh, i decided that i wanted to be uh, that i wanted to play but I didn't want to learn um, other people's songs, so I wanted to create. Um, so that's how I started studying. Uh, I bought a keyboard, and then I was uh, I wanted to be self-taught, but then my mother said, "No, you're gonna get classes because if you don't get classes, you're whoop, he froze Yay. a lot of time, and that's not enough." So I froze. Yep. Yeah, but... it's okay now. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So yeah, so my mom uh she she really pushed me to have lessons and then I started learning how to play and then um <laughs> I started creating my 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 songs and and that's that, that's really how I got into it. I was in like four or five bands before I got to Enchantia. Okay. And so who are some of your musical influences? I mean, who is it that you really like besides your own band do you like to listen to death i love that death yeah nightwish um are one of them. those are my favorite bands actually but all nightwish now, oh. now are we talking death from like here in america Dinner? yeah yes oh yeah. my god yeah Look. my favorite brand ever my reference and everything else that dude love it that day was a genius, man. Gone way. Yeah, he was. It was. It was like, oh my gosh, really. Yep, I, I, I remember the first uh, first tape I ever had from them was "Human." Okay. Yeah, and the uh, the one song that I just listened to over and over and over again was "Lack of Comprehension." Okay. Yeah, yeah. It I'm, was the reason why I started to to sing and and play guitar. Oh, okay. Because I want. I just. I want to be like this guy. He's amazing. Yes, he was. He was amazing. And uh, yeah. what about you, Pedro? What who are who are your favorites to listen to? Uh, well, it changes a lot depending on uh, what's 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 coming out. And uh, but I I did start playing keyboards because of Nightwish at the time. Okay. It was one of the biggest references, uh, and I still uh, pretty much enjoy them now. Uh, but I listen to all kinds of things. Uh, I love film music too. It's uh, James Newton Howard is one of my biggest inspirations. Hans Zimmer, of course, is uh, is another one. Um, I love Schubert too, but it, that's classical, mm -hmm. so it's from yeah far back. Um, and I I do keep up with the uh, what uh, the the bands the the melodic metal bands are doing. I do listen to them when they release something new. I try to be up to date, and uh, I normal. I, I I've been enjoying it. Yeah, I I listen to a lot of stuff, so it's really hard to choose. It's, it's yeah, really depends on something. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> for me, it's I'm more of uh, like late seventies, early eighty, well, mid eighties and nineties rock. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what I grew up on because I myself am in my forties, and um, you know. I, I've been doing this for about a year, maybe a little over a year. Um, got about 140 videos and oh. um, I've come across a lot of cool music, a, a lot of stuff that, you know, unless these publicists or as in your case, inverse records, um, <clears throat> if they had not sent me these press releases, 
I would have never known, you know, I mean, yeah. I don't look in my phone and say, okay, let's look at some Portuguese music or some Finnish music. You know? <laughs> yeah. I got a playlist. I listen to stuff that comes on the radio here, but you know, it's, it's been great. Cause I mean, I've, I've learned so much from, you know, talking to people and also yeah. just, it's opened my eyes up so wide to the different types of music there are out there. And it really seems to be kind of a theme over in, you know, that part of the world, it, it, like a melodic death metal. That's been most of my interviews. And I agree. Yeah. And it's, it's been, it's been great. I mean, the, the amount of <clears throat> like I, one of, one of ours here, uh, let's go with dream theater. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So dream theater, you know, they had all the, all the, the guitars, the, you know, the John Petrucci is an amazing guitar player, you know, got Mike, Mike Portnoy drumming, and then, you know, you got keyboards and whatever, but I've also seen other bands that I, I talked to one not too long ago that incorporated an electric violin. And I thought that was really cool, you know, and then also like the classical training that the, you know, the lyrics or lyricists have with their voices and stuff. I mean, it's just been, it's been awesome and i mean you guys it, it's like you take everything and you kind of put it into this blender and yet you, you hit mix and it comes out just beautiful <laughs> yeah actually we had we had violin electric violin on uh the previous album light and rough mm -hmm. true yeah you were saying about that and just right pedro in which songs do you remember i think that Pedro is yeah. again. Oh, no, it's not. about five or six songs of the previous yeah. album. Yeah, yeah. Not this one, but the uh, previous one we, we had. had an uh, electric right. And this one's called yeah, Cerebrus, have. correct? Sorry? Yes. This one is called Cerebrus. Oh. Your this album? Yes. Oh, this album we is say, we say Kerber, we say Kerberus or Cerberus, but it's it's but it's like uh, it's uh, no, but uh, in English they say cerebrus. Yes, it makes sense. Yes. Yeah. So but, it's, but it because... depends on where you are and how. how... Yeah, sure. I usually the Latin. I prefer the Latin, so I say cerebrus. Okay, and because I'm not Latin, even gonna try to words. pronounce that, but okay. No <laughs> but cerebrus is okay. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's it's how we, it's how it's named in America and the United Kingdom. So it's yeah. Yeah, and it's, I it's, mean. Uh, it's an entity. It's a, it's a mythological being. So everyone in different countries will call it uh, in a different sound. So yeah, which right. is nice. It's nice, everybody. <laughs> so in your new single out, existence, um, I believe I seen you have almost six thousand views on YouTube in four weeks. So I'm not sure. No. That's that's pretty good. Um. <laughs> You know, I and it, I'll tell you something that's been crazy is like I have, you know, I do these ba your band, your type of bands on, on the weekend because, you know, of the time difference. You know, I've got another one from the UK at one o'clock. So it's, you know, I it gives me a little more time to listen to, you know, your music it gives me a little more time to, um, you know, study stuff because I actually, you know, I have a normal job, too. So this is more of just a hobby for me. Um, you know, someday I'd like to maybe make some money off of it. But I, like I said, I love music. I, I love talking to musicians and, you know, especially, I mean, Zoom has been like my greatest friend. Like, you know, there's no way we would have been able to speak other than on the phone, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. And now we can, you know, see each other. We can talk. We can, you know. I've had people, uh, I had a guy that I did an interview with the other day. He had a guitar in his hands. I said, you know, play something for me. He just kind of ripped something off. Uh, you know, I've, I've had classical singers do a little something, something for me. So it's been really, really cool, you know. And I, I think that people here really like that visual, too. They can say, oh, okay, they can put a face to the music. Definitely. Nice expression there, face to music, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, because I mean, I've 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 listened to bands that I'm thinking, okay, this guy sounds like, as you say, Chuck Schuldiner back in the day, you know, long black hair, just ready to, just looking like he's mean, but you know, and then you see the video or you see a picture of him, and you know, they're 
looking they look like pedro you know nice yeah cut and everything and i'm like what the hell you know you don't expect that to come out of somebody just like you know a lot of the women that i've been talking to are doing the unclean vocals the growls and stuff and it's like that really comes out of you i'm like <laughs> I, I try to growl and it, it don't work out too but well for me it hurt it hurts my vocal cords. You know my band colleagues they, they, okay. my band colleagues they keep pushing me to look more evil but I just can't. <laughs> I was actually writing to him like few minutes before. Pedro, do you do you wearing black? <laughs> <laughs> So they keep pushing me. I just, I only, I only do it in the artwork. So and in the shows, of course. Oh come on, because I also look devilish on our <laughs> cover, and I, I don't think that I look devilish now. <laughs> well, no, that on, um, I, I have the picture here, and I, I really, you know, I like the the headdress. That's really cool. Um, but like <clears throat> with existence. Are you guys going to make a actual video for it or are you just going to stick with the lyric video? With the lyric video, we have a new video coming up uh, this next Thursday. Yeah, the 16th, um, which it will be all down in flames. And it right. kind of represents what's going on on our cover, uh, the cover art of the, the, the album. Mm -hmm. Would you like to explain a little bit? <laughs> about, the, about the video? Yeah, no, it, it, existence was uh, existence was meant to be a lyric video because uh, also because the concept of the concept of the song lyric wise the is method. so yeah. yeah it's it, it's so complex that um, you would need like a, 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 a huge budget to to bring some of those aspects to life so we have a more direct song which is the next single all down in flames and we did a um, more professional video with the band not 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 that a lyric video is not professional but you know what i mean the it's band showing up. a band video an official video so uh, we we were really focused on that and we decided to uh, explore a little bit of the the cover art that we did yeah it felt like actually we were we were there oh. yeah when we were film, filming last sunday it was last sunday um, it actually felt like we were there in hell. <laughs> oh, wow. the cover, yeah. All red lights and all smoke going on for 12 hours uh, just filming. It was so intense reproducing what you have there on the cover. Um, it was really intense. And I think that that will be actually seen during the video. So you say it was it was twelve hours. You did it all in one day. Yeah, That's, we have we had we to. <laughs> we have we uh, we reserved that kind of space because it was a and like a what kind of space was it? A theater. It was a theater. It was a small yeah. theater in um yeah. in Le around Lisbon. We only had that day to film. Okay. So it was all black, black walls, red lights, lots of smoke, uh, wind. <laughs> Wind. and uh it felt like going down to hell and representing the cover it was really intense really intense i i actually felt like i was her the lady uh -huh. <laughs> on the cover because i am actually her but i never feel like her right and then i was like i know judging just welcoming or not anyone uh somebody who would might go there and just looking at them I was scared of myself. <laughs> so you you guys just dropped this new album. <clears throat> You've, uh, you know, you got this existence out. You're getting ready to release the next one on Thursday. Yeah. What's uh, plans for live shows? Well, we actually have uh, our release uh, party concert uh, for this album uh, it will happen um on june 17th also 17th june 17th um it will be a very well produced show i suppose with another band a very well-known band here called ubris um we are planning on having also our choir right pedro yes let's hope um, yeah we're trying and we 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 are going to to reproduce um, 
the concept of this album, but we are also thinking about uh, playing uh, some songs from the two previous albums. Yeah, that's where what we are planning. It will happen also in the kind of a theater, okay. right? Not sure. It is. It is. Yeah, nearby yeah. Lisbon. Nearby Lisbon. So, so does this album? It's twelve songs. Does this album um, qualify for a LP or is it an EP? No, it's an LP, definitely. Okay, it's I, like I the, it's, it's almost time. yeah, it's almost an hour. I think it's fifty something mm. minutes. It's okay. it's big, yeah. And how about like, um, are you guys pressing any vinyl? You know, are you are you getting physical copies out there, or are you just putting them? Yeah, up? we will we will have physical CD copies out there. Um, I think that's uh five hundred. I'm not sure, but I think it's five hundred to sell. Um, about vinyls, um, we are not sure yet because we do have to be sure that we have people to buy those so when we actually have pre-orders then we will move forward to to do that okay so are they going to be actual seat compact this are they going to be records you mean about the vinyl or the cd no, no, the, the 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 physical copies are they going to be uh cds or are they going to be uh CDs, records? cd okay in jewel case jewel case okay. the cd well my, mm -hmm. my my daughter has a CD player, so I might have to. I, I might have to order me one. Oh, okay. Okay, we can we can send you one. Through. Uh, we'll yeah. send you one as soon as we get them. Yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys, uh, I'll, I'll buy it. You, if you could autograph it, that'd be great. Okay, Deal. you don't have to buy it. We'll give you one. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I mean, you have my email address, so um, that's yeah. That's, we do. We do. <laughs> yeah, it just you know I'm. Like I said, I, I, I'm I'm a big fan of all music anymore. Um, I used to be straight rock, but like you know, it's it has really um, just doing this as you, you can't be closed minded. You know, you, no, we can't. You have to, you know, and, and I think it's more of like I respect the time, the effort, the money, the the talent, the you know everything that you guys are putting into this. And it's like, you know, even if it's something that you're not into, you got to respect <laughs> your band as artists because this is your art. You know, this is what you guys do. This is, you know, your your heart and soul that you're putting into this stuff and, and your, your it was, money. It was really challenging uh, to record this album. It was really, really hard. How, how long did it take you? Well, the easiest part was making songs. The hardest part was, you know, because we were uh, going through the COVID. Mm, yeah. Thing. So sometimes we could go to studio to record others. Someone was, you know, in isolation. Um, and then we had to wait until that person was well enough to return to studio to record. And uh, in the middle um, of all this, um, our, our guitarist, um, well, he had to quit the band because he couldn't, um, he couldn't keep up due to his profession, um, and we had so many challenges to overcome. It was not easy at all, not easy at all. Peter, would you like to add anything? No, I think uh, I think you said everything. It was a really hard process. I think even making songs was hard because we were making them. I mean, I speak uh, from my point of view personally. Uh, I remember that when we were composing for this one, um, it was like 2020, like smack middle in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, the summer, the summer of 2020, which was really, really, really hard for me personally because... COVID, uh, I, I lived from only from music, so I didn't do anything else. So I was like, I was a composer, I was a pianist. I still am, but at that time I was only doing that. And all of a sudden everything was taken away. Right. So even writing songs, I think that um, I was, uh, it was really... Maybe it was a, a good time to write songs because now I listen to the album and everything's there. Like all the feelings that uh, we went through at the time yeah. are maybe channeling 
through the album. So it's in a way, it's like a a, a little memorial of that time and of overcoming sure, yeah. overcoming everything that happened. But at the time, it was really. I remember I was not uh, in a very a happy place so it was may, maybe it was therapeutic in a way so mm -hmm. you know like therapy and a way of of putting uh some of the stuff out yeah but it was challenging yeah and then the recording process was challenging recording a choir, yeah for example recording a choir because we have a lot of choir on this one uh, recording the choir we weren't allowed to have a lot of people in, inside the studio because it was forbidden Right. So we had to split the choir and even then we were pushing it, you know, but we we yeah. just <laughs> Yeah, we just keep kept yeah. testing, kept getting tested and seeing if um if if and if no one was sick and that's how so we had to push through a lot of stuff. So it's a, it's a big big story, you know. It's, it was tough, but it's it's there. So we're very proud that it's it's finally it's finally coming. So, uh, and but I appreciate I, you sharing I, that with me. I mean, you know, it's that that you wasn't in a happy place, and you know that it was somewhat therapeutic for you because it, it is. I mean, I think music, and I've mentioned this many times in my interviews, music is very therapeutic to a lot of people. Yes. You know that because you can you can listen to a certain track off of a off of a <laughs> CD or whatever, Sorry. and it reminds you of something that made you happy or it reminds you of a good time in your life or whatever and i feel like <clears throat> nothing nothing really can do that outside of music i mean people can talk to you and say hey you know happy up it's not that bad and you're like eh, whatever you know mm -hmm. but you, you can sit down and you throw some headphones on or you can jam your stereo whatever you got and you can listen to a, a song or you know a few songs and it can completely transport your mood, you know, and I think that's one of the greatest things about music is how what you guys do touches other people. And obviously yeah. what you do touches yourself because, you know, you was in that dark space and you was able to use what you were composing as, as a therapy. And that's, that's awesome, man. It is. Yeah. And, and it's, be uh, on it's when, when... sorry. No, no, go, go, go. You go. Oh, I, I was just saying that um, m my goal with music personally is also to make other people feel understood. I think that, you know, if, if you can say that you're doing music for mm. yourself and to heal yourself, but in a way you also, you're also, we're also doing it to heal others and to make people like, feel like they're not alone, you know? And, uh, and it's good because uh, now I think for I, when I look at this album now, it's like a reminder of my strength. So it's very important. It's a very important part of my life, no matter what comes after this one, you know. So right. it's like a reminder that's eternalized. So it's it was very important in a way. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. it is. I mean, and me, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. For me, it was really difficult to write the lyrics because usually when I when I'm sad and I'm processing things inside, I don't like to express them outside. But I had to because I had no idea of choice because they were waiting for the lyrics. And I was like, what am I going to write? And then I actually don't recall how, how I wrote the lyrics. Now that I actually read my words, I'm like, I can't remember how I, I wrote this. But this is so much about what I was feeling and actually about what I am still feeling about the world and everything else. It's crazy because you're we're, we were processing a lot of things with the COVID. Right. It was so life-changing at that moment. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I, I feel like that was the same for a lot of people, um, yeah. especially musicians. They had more there wasn't such a rush to produce something, you know, they had more time to sit down and write lyrics and write music. And, 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 you know, they were able to say, okay, I just laid down this track and send it to them via, you know, through, a, through a program or through an email or whatever. And I think it, um, music definitely took a, 
a change when COVID, after COVID was over. I, I feel like, you know, the, the, the quality of the music and the quality of the lyrics and the meanings behind the songs are a lot more real now. You know, and, mm -hmm. I, and I and I feel like that's because people had the time to sit down and say, you know what, I've been doing these kind of songs for a while, but you know, I'm gonna write something about how I feel right now. You know, and it come out great. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, I really do appreciate your time. Um, you were awesome to talk to. Uh, looking forward to. I'll, I'm definitely looking forward to the new uh, video on Thursday. And yeah. you know, I'll I'll send you my address if you guys want to yeah. CD. I'll I'll blare that. As soon thing. as we get to CD, I will send you one. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, it will be after uh, April, end of April, um, beginning of May. Okay. Okay. That's no when problem. I get the CDs. Okay. Hey, good things come to those who wait, right? Uh, sorry. That good things come to those who wait, right? Oh yeah, yeah. good things comes comes. Yeah, come to those away. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Well, you enjoy the rest of your evening, and thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you, and thank you so much thank for you. the interview. It was really nice. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye.